All right. <clears throat> Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha, Kodash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. And the Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead unto God and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will show mercy upon him in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of my ability. And this lesson is going to be entitled, we're going to have to be as pilgrims upon the earth. All right. We will have to be as pilgrims upon the earth. You know, and that's the mindset that the Lord is putting is putting us in. All right. Regards to to the elect. All right. And everybody outside of the Lord's elect. All right. Their mind is is fatuated with, with America. All right. And these people, they're going to try to seek to save their life. And what the scripture says, uh, matter of fact, let's start out with that. Let's go to the book of Matthew. It's Matthew 16 and verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right, and you got to be willing to give up your life here on this side. All right, just as Yahweh Shah did. All right, when he came here on the earth, all right, he was on the mission. All right, he told his, his father and his mother that he must be about his father's business. You know? So all of our people who's not willing to lose their life, you're right, gonna you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it at the end. Alright, because America will be destroyed by way of thermonuclear missiles. Alright, the scripture says for the fashion of this world shall pass away. So this manner of life, all the cars, the money, the, the clothes, the hoes, your job, your 401k, Let's read this again, Matthew 16 and 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, all right, so all of our people who's trying to build, trying to get that American dream, you know, they ultimately going to perish. Right along with their money, right along with their car, their house, all these uh, uh, carnal possessions. And the scriptures even says, flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So this flesh that we in is not even going to come up into the chariots. All right, these bodies, we're going to be changed from these vile bodies. And we're going to be fashioned unlike unto Yahweh Shai's glorious body. 
when finishing off, it says, and whosoever will lose his life for my for my sake shall find it. Right. And you got to be willing to, to lose your life on this side. All right, we gave up this world. We ain't trying to get the house on the, on, on the hill. All right, we ain't trying to live the American dream. We ain't trying to uh, be rappers and ball players and celebrities. We don't want the fame. We don't want the fortune. We just want salvation. We just want to be saved and delivered from the wrath. But you got to be willing to lose your life on this side. And the scripture says in the book of Matthew 19. Let's get that. Uh, Matthew 19 and 30. But many that are first shall be last. Right. Esau, Edom. Two thirds of our people. The other nations. Yeah, they, they living it up. Two thirds of our people, hey, they, 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 they prospering. They got the money. They got the houses. They don't have the same stress that we have. Us that's fighting for 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 this truth. Us that's standing stiffly for the name of the Yahweh Shmuel Shai. These Jakes don't go through the same struggle that we go through. So the ones who are first, they're going to be last. All right. The scripture says, um, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, matter of fact, let's just get it real quick. I don't want to butcher it up. So we're going to stay in the book of Matthew 6. And, um. All right, Matthew 5, forgive me, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And those are going to be, you know, these uh, false prophets, the wicked of our people, you know, and even these celebrities, these these rappers, these entertainers. You know, they're not pushing forth righteousness. You know, they're, t they're teaching and they're influencing our people to do everything contrary to the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Because what do these rappers uh, teach our people, push upon our people? Smoking weed, committing adultery, idolatry, you know? And that's why these the wicked of our people are going to be least in the kingdom of heaven. And it says, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All right. And we we trying to be the great ones. All right. Which is the elect beginning with the hundred and forty four thousand. So going back to Matthew 19 and 30. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. All right. And who's last in this society? The Israelite man that's serving Yahweh by Shem Shah. We're last in this society. You know. Our people come up against us. Esau, Edom, he come up against us. And that's why Isaiah, the 59th chapter, it says he that departed from evil, maketh himself a prey. So we're living amongst uh, wolves. All right. But we're come in the spirit of sheep. We got to we got to be a sheep amongst wolves, you know, but soon the Lord. All right. He's going to come back as that uh, as that conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. You know. The elect going to be joint heirs with the house shy, the elect going to receive spiritual powers. So, yeah, this is the part of catching hell. This is the part of our chastisement. 
But the scripture says, before honor comes humility. So this is the part of the humiliation process. We get called bums. People talk shit about us. All right, we got to see Jake. We got to see our people, you know, prospering and, and living it up. You got to see Esau eat him in his kingdom. You know, but this is only for for a little while longer because the evil days are fastly approaching. All right. We're about five weeks away from from uh, the Passover. You know, so the Lord is about to turn things up. So this spirit that the Lord is um, putting us in, man, is he's putting us in the spirit. So we can overcome at the last. All right, because we, we got to have a certain we got to have a certain mindset in order to make it through the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, because we don't give a fuck about any of these of this shit in this world. Yeah, are we grateful for our house? Are we grateful for our job? Are we grateful for, for the car? Yes. But we know at the end of the day, when shit hits the fan, hey, man, the hell with all this. OK, so let's go to second Ezra 16 and verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make ye ready to thy battle. All right. And we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. OK. Right now we're in a spiritual we're in a spiritual fight. And how do we. How are we going to overcome? Let's get a quick scripture. Ephesians. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. And we're going to start at 10. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye meet, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. And what's the wiles goes into is trickery. His deceit. All right, and what's that armor? The wisdom, knowledge, understanding, this truth. All right, Psalm the 91st chapter. So it says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness and high places. So this is the spiritual battle. And this is why a lot of our people, you know, being, being defeated because they don't have the truth. They don't have the wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. All right. They don't have those spiritual garments on. All right. Our people out here walking naked. And this is why our people is being caught up against the wilds of the devil. You know, our people accepting uh, um, uh, homosexuality. Our people are being taken by these um, enchantments that Esau Edom is putting out here from the media, the music. All, uh, the, the, the food. All right, women wearing these uh th th these wigs and weaves. These other nations are putting enchantments on 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 everything. All right, hey, and that's why prayer is so important. All right, before we eat, we pray over our food. We bless our food. All right, before we go out in, in, uh, in this world. All right, we pray to Yahweh Shemal Shai to protect us, to guide us. You know, we, we, you, you driving in your car, we driving amongst demons. These people are on all type of drugs, antidepressant medicines. These people got legions on them. All right, and it says, verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of, of Yahweh. That ye may be that ye may be able to stand in the evil. Salakia. Uh Ephesians 6 and 13. 
Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right. So we're going to need the truth. We're going to need the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And that's how we're going to be able to withstand in the evil day. You know? And we're about to see these people really bug out. Because there ain't going to be no food. There ain't going to be no water. It's going to be lawlessness. Internet's going to be shut down. It's going to be an EMP. You, our people don't know what's coming down the pipeline. And what's going to happen to these people? Esau Edom going to set up the... Uh, the, the, the chip stations. All right. And these people going to line up to receive the see him. Hey, but the scripture says Romans, the 11th chapter. There shall be 7,000. So that shall not bow the knee to the image of all. And seven goes into the number of completion. All right. And that's going to be the Lord's elect. They're going to stand stiffly. They're not going to bow the knee. Some of us are going to be martyrs. Some of us are going to get persecuted, casted into prison, get our heads chopped off. The second Ezra 16 and 40. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, all right, what is evils goes into bad times. The scripture says in the last days, perilous times shall come. So savage times. Friends and family going to fight against another like enemies. Your next door neighbor going to turn on you. People going to be breaking into your house. Spoiling goods. And this is why the Lord is getting us in that mindset to be as pilgrims. And it says, in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And really quick, I want to go into this word here in the etymology for pilgrim. It says a person traveling to a holy place. Right. And what's that holy place? The kingdom. All right. Does not the scripture says we have no continuing city. Matter of fact, let's get that. This Hebrews 13 and 14. For here have we no continuous city, right? Here in America. All right, because America is not our rest. Look at the dollar bill. You see the Egyptian pyramids. All right, the scripture says this is modern day Egypt. And what is Egypt goes into? A, a house of bondage. This is not our rest. Lord said he put us into slavery to not to destroy us. Look at our people in the hoods and the ghettos. Native Americans on, on um, reservations. But this is not the end all be all. Yeah, how is shy, which, which means he saves and he delivers. He's coming back to, to gather up his elect. And take us back to our homeland, which is Jerusalem. Right? And we're going we gonna to live in paradise. Kingdom, scripture says, we're going to, yeah, Isaiah the 60th chapter. Right, we're we going to be walking on gold. Streets paved of gold. Houses built up with precious stones. It says, for, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. All right, what are we seeking for? The kingdom. The kingdom of heaven. 
which will be here on, on the planet Earth. And that's when we that's when we'll be able to rest and chill and kick up our feet and rejoice. But we got to be in the mindset, speaking first and foremost to myself, as being a pilgrim. Because the days are, are about are, are about to become evil. No food, no water. No more uh, going to work. No more living your, 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 your average... Uh, your average life. You know, but the Lord is going to protect and guide his elect. And that's the comfort that we have. Let's finish off with 2nd Ezra 16 and 74. Hear, O, o ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble, which the world has never seen. You think about slavery, you think about 70 AD when we fled Roman persecution. You think about the transatlantic slave trade. You think about World War One, World War Two, Pearl Harbor, all these uh, events that happen on the planet Earth. But it's not going to be able to compare to the time of Jacob's trouble. But it says, but I will deliver you from the same. You see, and that's the balance of, of, of Yahweh Hashem al -Shai. Lord says uh, unjust balance is abomination. So yeah, the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. But you, you know what? The Lord also says it's going to be a greater deliverance than it was from ancient Egypt. Miracles are about to be shown. The Lord's power is about to be shown through his men. Spiritual powers. All right? Men, brothers going to be laying hands on on um on believers they're gonna get healed from out from different ailments you know and it says verse 75 be ye not afraid neither doubt All right because the lord didn't give us the spirit of fear but of power and love of a sound mind it says for the most high is your god All right so the lord he's going to guide us going to be our spiritual GPS system. You know? Lord going to put the spirit on us to, to rest in a certain place. The Lord going to put the spirit on us to, to go left or to go right or to go straight. You know, just how the Lord is guiding us here in these times. How much more in the time of Jacob's trouble? Because the left hand side you know, is 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 going to be on overdrive. But so is the right hand side is going to be on overdrive. You know, hey, the scripture says uh, some of you shall not taste of death. So brothers and sisters and children, hey, the Lord is going to guide his elect. So I just want to bring that lesson out through the spirit. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. I'm going to close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Achak, Wadash. want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Beginning with the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh And also want to say Shalom. To the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children, who Yahweh Bashmael Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. Thwadi Al Bashmael Shai for giving me the spirit of truth, and Thwadi Al Bashmael Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit, the Rakhak Wadash, to make this lesson. Lord is willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalawam and Ababa Ball, DTA, Kwame Yashallah, Shalawam.